Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am sweating bullets because I am literally just about to head out the door and head to the airport because as you saw in the title in the video, I am headed to Vancouver. I'm so flipping excited. My sister and my brother-in-law recently moved to Vancouver, so I'm excited to go visit them, check out their new apartment. Uh, we do have like a list of things we would like to explore and see in the city. It's not like a set itinerary because obviously the weather is going to be hit or miss. There's rain in the forecast. So I thought I would take you along with me, explore Vancouver, and let's go to the airport. But first I thought I would show you what I'm wearing for my flight. So I am wearing faux leather shorts, a chunky knit sweater, fleece lined tights that look like I'm wearing just sheer black tights, but I'm not. It's actually fleece lined leggings and I'm sweating bullets. Whew and chunky combat boots. So this is my travel outfit and I have put everything from my purse in a little backpack because I want my hands to be free as a tourist. So let's go to the airport. I made it, I made it to the airport. Now I am... This is the final boarding call for Air Canada, flight 334 to Montreal. How cool would that be to be flying Votre to Montreal? So anyways, like in the interest of passenger safety, please <laughs> do not leave your baggage unattended at any time. If you see any suspicious activity, I swear someone's watching me on the security cameras and as soon as they start filming, they start making announcements. Oh my god, how funny is that? Um, so I got to the airport safe and sound. The shuttle driver, like where I parked my car and shuttled to the airport, he was so nice, like such a nice man. And he took pictures of me outside the airport and everything. And, oh, you can see I'm a little pink in the face. I am hot, you guys. I know I'm hot now, but airplanes are always so cold. So I know I'll be comfy for the plane ride. But my plane takes off at 1.15 and it's 11.30. Why do they make you come to the airport so early? So I'm literally sitting at a terminal that's completely empty, no one's around, so I'm safe to sip on my coffee without my mask on, but I literally have an hour and 45 minutes to kill. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Well, everybody, I'm here safe and sound. I've been here for a few hours now and just, you know, visiting with my sister and brother-in-law. We have been going for a walk. I ate the most delicious scone because I was starving. And look at this. Geese. There is not a Canadian goose to be found back in Edmonton. It is seriously like spring here. Although now that the sun is setting, it is a little bit chilly, but the sunset behind me is absolutely beautiful. So this is the seawall. Super busy, lots of people walking around, riding bikes. So we are walking back to my sister's place now, and then we're gonna go out for dinner. Where do we have reservations, Marlena? A Greek, a Greek restaurant in Gastown. Ooh, and then that is the brother-in-law of the year. He picked me up from the train station. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to the very top of my sister's condo building and look at this view. Living our best lives. <laughs> I need to fix my hair before we go out for dinner. A little humidity. <laughs> She said to me in the uh, elevator, just so you know, you will never have a good hair day here. And then when I saw myself in the mirror, my hair was like, <laughs> like, wow, that was a nice way of you telling me my hair looked horrible. <laughs> Wait for the camera! 
Good afternoon, everyone. It is day two of Vancouver trip. I didn't vlog a whole lot last night because like I was in the moment, but also when we went to the Greek restaurant, it's actually called the Greek. <laughs> they have music playing and stuff and you can't post that on YouTube because you can get like a copyright claim. So couldn't vlog anything in the restaurant. And then after we explored Gastown, we checked out the infamous steam clock and we had tons of fun. We are late going this morning because Marlena, it's Friday, so she had to work. So while she was working, I just had a chilled morning, enjoyed my coffee and the views from her apartment. I'll give you guys a tour later this afternoon. But for now, we're going on a boat. <laughs> Minds think alike, we ended up ordering the exact same thing because it looked so good. And we have the most beautiful view. How's your lunch? So good. <laughs> Gonna dig into this. Just had a delicious lunch at the Granville Island Market, and then we found like a pastry shop, and I got a cheesecake. Marlena got a vegan chocolate peanut butter bar. Oh my god, it was so delicious. Um, if you're ever in, <laughs> if you're ever in the Vancouver area, I highly recommend Granville Island and the market is really cool There's everything you can think of from fruits to vegetables to seafood and then there's specialty shops like homemade soups and so cool um, We've got some fresh berries for our breakfast tomorrow morning and now we are headed for a beer tasting. We're at the Granville Island Brewing Co. having a 10 flight of beer. I'm excited to make my way to the stout. My sister is surprised that I like stout. I had no idea. I didn't get to show you much of Granville Island, but all we did was eat, really. So if you're hungry, come to Granville Island. And then they also have like theaters and there's lots of shows. So you can definitely spend an entire day here easily. Museums, art galleries, theater, it's got it all. <laughs> oh, there's our ferry. We're gonna miss the ferry because we've just been goofing around. <laughs> So we're just at the liquor store and look at this live wall. I've never seen that at a liquor store, it's stunning. But I just saw, it was a cardboard statue and it was the back side of it. I'm like, that looks like the back of Dwayne Johnson's head. And I had to go look and of course, it was Dwayne Johnson advertising his tequila. I haven't even seen his tequila yet. <laughs> But it's so funny, I could tell it was the back of Dwayne Johnson's head just by a cardboard cutout. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We had a really easy night last night. We just hung out, watched a few episodes of Too Hot to Handle season three. <laughs> that show is absolutely outrageous. Um, and Ryan is now driving us to Lynn Canyon. <laughs> Injuries 2011 to 2015. Oh my gosh, I would never jump off a cliff. Yeah. 
I'm currently on the suspension bridge and we're trying to make our way across quickly because anxiety is setting in. Oh dear. <laughs> well, there is almost no snow to be found up here. It's just green. I feel like I'm in a rainforest. There's moss growing on all the trees. There's ferns. Like, look at these ferns. Oh, and you can hear the sound of the river. It's just so therapeutic and it's beautiful. Look at the color of that water. Say hi, Merlina. The water is absolutely stunning and there's doggos everywhere. I love to see it. All the dogs running around playing. Uh, Brie went for a bit of a swim, but I'm pretty sure that water is extremely cold, so she didn't swim for long. Hey, Brie Bot. <sighs> Working up a sweat going up and down all these stairs. <laughs> it's getting warm now wearing a turtleneck and a teddy jacket. Oh, but it's so nice to get in that fresh air. So this path is going to loop around, come down this way, and then we have to go all the way up these stairs over there. I'm not looking forward to that part. That's gonna be exhausting. Am I ready to do this? I do not know. <laughs> we survived the trek up the stairs. Definitely worked up a sweat. I definitely overdressed for the hike, but I'll be comfortable for the rest of the day. So now we're gonna go ahead for lunch. Where are we going for lunch? We're heading to the Lonsdale Key in North Vancouver to get some delicious eats and then off to the lake house. Ooh, so I'll be nice and cozy for that. But for a hike, do not wear a turtleneck. <laughs> so this is the little hike we just did. We did 3.25 kilometers, 122 meter elevation, buns of steel. We just realized there's an A&W truck there and they are filming a commercial or something. How cool is that? There's all the lighting set up. So we made our way to a lighthouse park and we can't actually get down to the lighthouse, but this is like the closest we can get down to the ocean. And of course, I'm not wearing the proper boots to hike all the way down there. So for my safety, I am staying up here. Erlina and Ryan and Bree hiked down there and they're just exploring the rocks and I am enjoying the view. So uh, this black part is Stanley Park and then there's the Lionsgate Bridge, which we're gonna drive over on the way back to Marlene and Ryan's. And then all the way over here on the tip is UVC campus. Well, today was outdoors day. The rain is starting a little bit. We can start to feel it's sprinkling, but we had perfect timing today. Yeah, there's a actual rainfall warning tonight, which is gonna be crazy. So tomorrow will be like a indoor day, art gallery kind of day. We've hit 10,000 steps. Uh, and then some. <laughs> yeah. And I wanna get these boots off and get cozy. I actually wouldn't mind a cup of tea. Soup for dinner. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a nice and cozy soup for dinner. We, we're not gonna go out because we've been eating out so much. So yeah, we're just gonna stay in tonight, let the rain do its thing. Back Ooh. at the tourist thing again tomorrow. What's that smell? It smells like candy. Candy trees. Candy trees! <laughs> My sister's place we're enjoying a glass of wine my sister is making a soup 
I realized I still haven't given you guys a tour of their apartment, which hopefully I can do tomorrow once it's um, clean. Clean and more daylight. Cheers, Ryan. Cheers. Ding. <laughs> Bree is tired from all the walking we did today. And we are in our comfies, just staying in for the night. And it doesn't really look like the rain started. Not yet. But it is time to get comfortable and enjoy the exercise of the day. My ankles are killing me. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Today is day four of my trip to Vancouver, and today is a very rainy day, so all the things we're going to be doing is indoor stuff. Um, but before we go, I am finally going to give you a tour of my sister's apartment. So right now, we're standing in the entranceway and looking out. This is the way to their bedroom. This is their stunning kitchen and a massive big pantry and their living space and windows everywhere. Such a beautiful view of the city and you can see it is a very, very rainy day in the neighborhood. And then this is where I've been sleeping. This is my humble abode. This bed is so comfortable and you can see out here their balcony and again windows galore so i've had a beautiful sunrise every morning so far except this morning because it is gloomy and rainy bathroom that's accessible from the kitchen area but you can also shut it off to have your own like ensuite in the spare bedroom absolutely love it love the location and i also realized that i have not been showing you my outfits of the day at all i'm such a horrible fashion blogger <laughs> but today i'm going to be wearing an oversized shirt with an oversized vest full leather leggings combat boots which are in the closet and an umbrella cannot survive without an umbrella today so yeah we're going to head to the vancouver art gallery which the acronym is vag we're going to the badge. So it's a bit windy. I'm having a hard time holding my umbrella straight. And it is raining here in Vancouver and snowing back home in Edmonton. But I'll take rain. Well, I don't know. Snow, you can stay dry. But rain, it chills you to your bones. <laughs> we were laughing about that the other day because it's like something my dad says all the time. Just the humidity, it makes you a little bit colder, but I think I'd rather rain than snow. <laughs> saw these online a while ago and I'm actually tempted to try these on. Can't even tell because of the face mask. <laughs> we got Victoria Beckham sunglasses, Kate Spade New York, there's Alexander McQueen over here, Versace, Isabel Moran, Balenciaga, ooh look at these dramatic sunglasses. And check this out, just found good American denim. Khloe Kardashian's brand. I've actually never tried any of her pieces. My camera is totally zoomed on the art 
and not my face because this is a virtual reality art installation underneath this bridge, which is really, really interesting. Is there anything else I need to know about the art installation? It's called the Vauxhall Bridge and it's part of an international art experience for interactive style art, particularly during or in areas of infrastructure. And we're underneath a big bridge, the Canby Bridge right now, one of the major ones in Vancouver. So adding art to these spaces is just such a great way to make particularly a gray city a little more lively. That, my friends, my sister should be the vlogger and not me. <laughs> I rubbed a blister onto my, oh hi! <laughs> I rubbed a blister onto my ankle today, folks. The mistake was I wore too short of socks. I should have wore, you know, socks that went higher up and I would have been totally fine. Gonna do a quick outfit change. Gonna try and wear heels tonight, I think. A dress to go out for the final dinner. <laughs> I love you too! Ooh, you're wet. Okay, off the bed, off the bed! Joys of living in Vancouver when it's raining. Good morning everybody. Today is the final day of my trip. I fly home today at 6 p.m. Last night we ate dinner at Doce, which was hands down the best food I think I've ever had in my life. So if you're ever visiting Vancouver, definitely check out Doce. There is two locations, absolutely delicious. And of course I couldn't vlog any of it because of the music and copyright issues on YouTube. I'm gonna miss these views. The sun is shining like crazy today. I can feel the heat from the sun through the windows. I've got my SPF on as always. Um, I'm not looking forward to the flight home because it's like sunny and plus seven here. And it is minus 15 with snowstorm morning, but it feels like minus 28 back at home. So not looking forward to that. <laughs> this is the outfit of the day kind of hard to see with the lighting in here but I've got some green Zara boots on which will be perfect for the walk we're about to do along the sea wall but it will also be comfy for the flight and it will also be great for when I have to walk in all that snow to get back to my car <laughs> uh, just some comfy leggings black sweater and then a green jacket it's actually really hard to see isn't it a green jacket from American Eagle to match the green Zara boots. Well, we're back to where it all began. This was the first walk I took when I arrived in Vancouver, and it's the last walk I'm gonna take before I go home, which is really sad. <laughs> Obviously, the highlight of my trip was visiting my sister. Um, and I mean, we squeezed so much in in a five-day span, but I didn't even see Vancouver, really. Like, there's so much more to do and see, which we'll plan for our next trip. <laughs> Hopefully I can come back this summer. And like, of course I wanted to show you guys more, but like I've said multiple times already, it's just, there's music playing everywhere. And you can't put that on YouTube because of copyright claims. I can understand if I had B-roll playing and like an intro to the video and I just like slapped a Taylor Swift song on there. I can totally understand a copyright claim for that. But for me to be like shopping in the mall and there's music in the background, I don't know. I think it's a little extreme, but we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our walk. It is a little bit chilly, but I was just saying I'm really not, I'm not gonna complain because I'm going back to minus 30. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye.